today we are trying their specialty item, something called a Brooklyn Blackout Cupcake. These are a rich chocolate cake. A little bit of sour cream has been added to the chocolate batter. That's for moistness effect. We are typing two types of frosting on these bad boys. We have a chocolate milk ganache and a semi-sweet chocolate buttercream. Put all those components together, you have what we call a Brooklyn Blackout Cupcake. I love all these cameras. <laughs> uh, no right or wrong way of eating a cupcake. My preferred way is I like to cut the cake part right at the bottom here, put it right on top, and I have a little cupcake sandwich. Reach on in, grab your own Brooklyn Blackout. Welcome to our tour today. Yeah. Cupcakes for breakfast. Ooh. Well, Best way. It's midday. So. <laughs> Best kept secrets here in New York City, and it's a personal favorite restaurant of mine. I invite everyone to join me around the pizza oven, because we have a pizza aiola here that's going to be making our pizzas from scratch. Let's go get some pizza. I do want to introduce to us today our very, very special guest of honor, Luis. Perfect entrance time. Uh, Luis is what we refer to at Emporio as a pizza aiola. He's responsible for 95% of the menu. Most of that menu happens right here in this magical pizza us. They rotate the menu here every eight months. This prosciutto and arugula pizza that we're about to try is always on the menu. Uh, prosciutto de Parma. Everybody will get a slice, minus one. You guys, we are in New York. Us New Yorkers do not eat slices with a fork and knife. <laughs> I'm from Las Vegas though, and I will not judge you if you want to work at night. I want to stop and talk a bit about this device right over here. It's referred to in the city as a cast iron fire alarm. You might have seen them around the city. Original ones, this is an original cast iron fire alarm, was installed around 1870s by the FDNY. Uh, this building behind me is not my house. It's referred to in the city as the candle building. It's been here since 1800s and not one candle has been made inside this building. <laughs> Any of you guys ever heard of that term being iced? Rumor was it started right from this building behind me. Rumor was they used to store dead bodies here in this ice building. I know. 1963 to 2003, 30 years we're talking. This entire 14,500 square feet building was the home to one single person. A gentleman by the name of John Simpson lived in this abandoned building alone. And Mr. Simpson was a very, very quirky man. Every single window you see above us and on the side of the building, he was OCD about turning off and on the candle each and every night and every single morning. And that's when this building became referred to as the Candle Building. I don't know if you guys have food trucks where you live, but food trucks are quite popular here in the city. This next tasting is a complete opposite of a food truck. They actually have a food truck inside their restaurant that they serve street tacos out of. Today we're having a specialty uh, meal that's served down in Mexico. Something called Esquites. Esquites is corn in a cup. Uh, it's been grilled corn, chopped, they put it in a cup, and they layer it with the chipotle mayo. On top of that, they put a coquita cheese, which is a Mexican style of cheese, and a chipotle mayo. Obviously, the Scorseses no longer live here. They've kind of moved on up in the world. Oh. Uh, keep in mind, also, this area, Nolita, especially Elizabeth Street, was not the fancy area it is now. It used to be a skid row. Because of that, Martin was a very sheltered child. Because of that, he dreamed up all of these movie plots and scenarios that rumor was a majority of all of his films were created right here on the fourth floor at 253 Elizabeth Street. And hype. This place is getting over their homemade bonbons. These are their hand-painted, handcrafted bonbons. It took two to three days for them to assemble from start to finish per flavor. That's how special and delicate these are. Everything is...
We ate a lot of food today, my friends. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we started our day with our Brooklyn Blackout over at Little Cupcake. After that, we had our prosciutto and arugula pizza at uh, Emporio. Our roast beef tartine with some red wine at Tartinery, followed by our carne arepa over at Oficina. Some of you guys got cocktails. We had esquitas and sandia at Tacombi, and we finished our day with our vero bonbon from no other than Stick With Me Sweets. So you guys had a good time. Did everybody else have a good time today? Are you guys all full? Awesome. Then my job is complete. And I'm also a hugger, so I'll give you guys a hug if you want a hug too. Thank you guys again. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.